This is Germany's Martin Schindler, and Shindy, this is your Big 20. Are you ready to be grilled within an inch of your life? I am absolutely ready. Good, <laughs> this is what I like to hear. OK, let's start with a, with a basic one. What would you be doing if you weren't a darts player? Well, I have to say I'm not quite sure. Um, when I finished my school, mm -hmm. uh, I played one year after the darts, and then I got my tour card, so I didn't really have a backup plan. So there was when you were at school and you were doing your exams, did you have even a vague idea of what was to follow, what you might have gone on and done? Well, I was thinking about like working in a financial system, like mm -hmm. working for a bank, for example. So, yeah, like like an office job, something like that. Oh, so you, you were quite good at school then? You were quite bright? I think I was quite all right, like um, B to C, like two okay. to three and yeah, yeah. marks. So, I, w I was doing some good job at, at, at maths or physics, but... but oh, maths and physics. No, I was never good at maths and physics. No? Me. No, no, no. I mean, I wasn't Jose de Souza levels of bad at maths, but I was. they were not my best subjects. Um, <laughs> you did work as a steward, though, in your early days on the Euro. Did you ever throw anybody out? Um, I never had to. Okay. I, I just needed to make sure you're not going to cross that door. Okay. And that's it. But uh, I needed to tell to some people. So you, you were quite literally, you were quite literally a wall. I am. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> what, what was that like though? Because you were how old were you then? Like you're teenagers still, weren't you? I was uh, 17. Yeah. Yeah. 17, and you're working at these darts events, and there's yeah Raymond van Barneveld and Michael van Gerwen walking around. What was that like? Well, it was an amazing feeling because um, I was knowing these players like maybe f 10 years mm. to this point. Um, I was uh, looking the 2007 World Championship final between Taylor and Barneveld. Is that what got you into darts? Uh, yeah, kind of. It, it really did. And um, um, now you can see Raymond van Barneveld with just 17 years of age. It's, it was an amazing feeling. And I have to say as well, I played my second Euro Tour qualifier in Düsseldorf, mm. made that uh, qualification. Played Barney as well, didn't you? I, I did, I really did. First right. time playing on the big stage, I have to play against Raymond van Barneveld. You did all right, I think you got three legs, did you? You certainly took some legs off him. I, I, I did, yeah, I, I won the first one. I went with a 180 in the first leg and I won this first leg as well. So. What was that moment like? Uh, uh, absolutely amazing. My heart was beating so fast and I was just enjoying it. I was not thinking much at the time because I was just up there enjoying it. I was not taking it like like way serious. Just take the experience, take what you get. And it was good, it was an amazing feeling. Who are your best friends in the game? Who, who do you hang around with most? Well, I, I hang around with the Germans, obviously, mm -hmm. like like Max, Gabriel, Florian Hempel, uh, Lukas Wenig, for example, as well. But uh, except from the Germans, you also have so in Leichbacher, he's a very good friend of mine as well. Then some other players, I'm, I'm good with like like Richie Atos, for example. Okay. He's also a good mate, really like him. And some other players are nice as well. So, Where's your favourite place that you've been with the sport or favourite place to play? Well, there are some really good places. Um, if we talk about the venues, I have to say Hildesheim or Göttingen. They've been amazing. Obviously, the Alexandra Palace from the Majors is the best one, I think. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing building, it's an amazing atmosphere. And from just the place, I think Gibraltar is you one like of Gibraltar? the best. You like Gibraltar? I do. What always it about Gibraltar? Is it the monkeys? No, it's just an amazing <laughs> trip. Um, because if we go to Gibraltar, we always go to Malaga. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we take a rent car and then go by the coast. So on the one hand, you have, you have the sea. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you've got the mountains. It's a beautiful road to take. You you drive all the way through Spain like two two hours. Yeah, but I mean you've driven from Manchester Airport to Wigan, right? Yeah, I mean, or to Barnsley as well. Yeah, yeah, and to Barnsley. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we've established there are lots of lovely places. Where would your dream holiday be? Dream holiday. Yeah. Uh, I've been to to Crete, uh, Agios Nikolaos. Mm -hmm. It was a very beautiful place, and probably this one right now. Yeah. But have you got have you got another place you haven't been that's on the the bucket list a to do list? I haven't been to many places. I want to be in uh, the United States at one point. I want to go to Never been to the States. No, never. That's quite a trip. You're uh, like, well, you never know. The World Series next year, who knows? Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Um what do you do when you're not playing darts? How do you relax? Um I'm just yeah, you know like relaxing, like watching TV, 
-hmm. or maybe hanging around with friends, maybe playing some video games. Yeah, you're quite good. You're, you're into gaming, aren't you? Uh, kind of, a little what, bit. What, what, what games do you play? Um, I play League of Legends, yeah. Rocket League. Um, I was used to play Call of Duty a lot, yeah. but not anymore. So, like, a lot of shooter I was playing as well. But right now it's more like Rocket League or League of Legends. Are you any good? In Rocket League, I think I'm not not that bad. No. Okay, because there, there's quite a, there's a bit of a scene. There's some decent video gamers. It is. In it darts. is. Jeffrey Desvan's always banging. I think it's Call of Duty. Is it? It is. Day. I think so, I think so too. Yeah. yeah. You've not played him? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, I'd, I'd avoid it. I think he I think he's quite <laughs> good. Um, so, okay, what what music are you into? Um, mainly mainly rock. Ramstein? Uh, Ramstein, uh, <laughs> Linkin Park, uh -huh. ACDC. Okay. Quite uh, decent bands. Okay. Uh, it, uh, like, you've you had a little bit of an imagery, Van. Like, when you got, you know, got the, the wall nickname and the shirt and everything like that. But have you ever experimented with your personal style? Have we ever seen a, a, a wacky hairdo from Martin Schindler? Or did he ever, he went to Linkin Park, do you ever wear the big flared trousers at all? <laughs> no. No, no, no. None of that. No, um, normally I'm like, very serious person when it comes to darts, so I'm not going to experiment with that. And yeah, in my free time, just normal, regular people. Normal, know? regular Martin Schindler. Okay, I would say that. <laughs> are you into Are you into saying an adrenaline sports, roller coasters, bungee jumping? No, 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 not, no. not really. I like I like to go on roller coasters, mm -hmm. um, like uh, the big the big parks. Yeah, we have maybe you know the the Europa Park. In Where's that? It's in the southeast of Germany. Okay. Way down in in the Rust. Right. Okay. That's how the place is called. I think it's it's one of the biggest. Uh, I think it's the biggest in Germany. I think one of the biggest in Europe as well. Have you been to Alton Towers yet? Alton Towers in the UK? No. Oh, never. there you go. Next next time you're over, we'll t we'll take Shindy. Assuming that you, you're tall enough to go on the rides. Then we will take we'll take you to Alton Towers. Where, There's some video content for you. Where is it uh, closer? It is. It's not far from where Adrian Lewis lives. It's all the Stoke I, kind Stoke, of. Stoke, yeah. Where, yeah, it's a middle of the country. So like Birmingham, is it? Yeah, not far, not, not far. far. And uh, we'll, we'll take we'll take Martin Schindler to Alton Towers. We've got some content <laughs> there. Um, favorite films? You a My, film guy? Um, yeah, I really like the Avengers movie. Okay. Movies and uh, my favorite one is Endgame. Okay, fair Avengers enough. Endgame, brilliant. Very, very popular. Lot of lot of Avengers fans in darts. I'll, yeah. uh, I can assure you of that. Um, let's have another darts question. Biggest high and lowest low in your career so far. It's it's difficult to say what was the highest high. Uh, if you would say just by the results and everything, it would be now because I'm not playing bad at the moment. I'm having good results this year as well. So maybe this is my highest high, mm -hmm. but lowest low I have to go with 2019, 2020. These two years has not been good for me. Um, I was not playing bad, I have to say, but I just didn't get any results. I was losing so many games, 6-5, 6-4, and it doesn't mean anything to win five legs, to win four legs, even if you lose. You know, you have to get that six legs, you have to win the games. That's it. We saw you lose your tour card. How hard was that to deal with? I know you got it back immediately, and you. you played some incredible stuff since then, but uh, that point in between where you know you've lost your tour card and you're going to Q school, were, the, were you doubting whether this could work? Because as you say, you didn't have a, a backup plan really. It's school and then darts. Yeah, I was, obviously I was frustrated even though the darts were not going where I wanted them to go. And uh, I was aware of the situation. If you're not going to be, like qualify for the World Championship, it's going to be the loss of the tour card. I was thinking like, just keep going. It will come back, even if it's not going to work. It's, uh, it's, it was a COVID year, so probably not going to miss out something big if you don't get your tour card back immediately, like you said. So I went on to Q school. I'm thinking like, yeah, just, just keep doing what you are doing. You're feeling good. You had a good practice before. Uh, in, in December and January, and yeah, I think I played decent stuff in the Q school. Hit a nine data, hit, hit one of the best averages in the PC recorded ever, 123.5, I think. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was not bad. So it was, it was very, very good. Um, and there's been lots of good stuff since. Um, okay, here's one for you. Yeah. You've had a lot of experience playing at the World Cup of Darts. We're here in Frankfurt for it this weekend. Yeah. 
what's harder, playing for yourself or playing as a team and for your country? Well, I think it's a combination of uh, both things because if you are up there and play couples, you play for yourself and for your partner. Mm -hmm. So there's not a, not a big uh, change. Obviously, you have to leave your opponent, uh, your, your, your partner on, a, on a good numbers. So, like probably yesterday, when I was on 164, I know I just leave Gabriel something good and then he has to do his job. And you can't help him to do his job. That's hard though, isn't it? You it can't is, help them, you don't have control. It is. it is, you don't have the control, you just need to rely on your partner, isn't it? You just need to trust him. And, well, that's what I did. And. It got good, <laughs> didn't it? It went good. Uh, we've already covered your the people you like, your best friends. Who don't you like in darts? Uh, do I really have to say that? Oh, I thought you were going to answer that. <laughs> Nobody answers that question. Fair enough. <laughs> well, well, we'll move on. Fine, Martin, if you're going to be diplomatic about it. Um, have you ever met anybody, a celebrity, a sports person, or whatever, and been starstruck? Like, it's been, wow. You're like nervous about meeting them. Well, not really nervous anymore because I'm. Because I'm a big star, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I, I have to say I experienced uh, working with fans for for myself. So I was thinking about other people. How are they dealing with that? And I realized I'm I'm a human, and they treat me like I'm a big star, like you say. But for me, I think I'm just normal people, you know, talking, chatting, like, just with words, like anyone else is doing. And that's what I always think about celebrities as well. I had the chance to meet football players, I had the chance to meet uh, comedians. I met the biggest two entertainers in, 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 in German TV, uh, Joko and Klaas. Very Joko famous. and Klaas? Yeah. I don't know who they are. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, they just do German content, so yeah. it's, uh, yeah. No wonder that you don't know them, but for, for German things, they are very big, very popular, and I need, or I get to know them as well, and they're very friendly, and I treat them like they wanted to get treated. They're normal people, and that's what they wanted to be treated like. You are, darts has become so big in Germany, you are getting more and more known. People know who you are, and you're playing some excellent stuff. There's lots of rewards and everything. Do you like the attention, Martin? Do you like a little bit of fame? <laughs> Sometimes I have to say, no, I don't. No? No, because, uh, you know, every people is different. And some people think, uh, you're a professional now, you have to deal with this. And sometimes I think, you're right in one point, but on the other side, you're, you're just not. You know, I want to be on myself sometimes, but you don't have the time for yourself then. You oh. know what I mean? Okay, final question. And this is not, the question is not, where do you want to be in five years' time? The question is, where will you be in five years' time, Martin Schiff? Where will I be? It's difficult to say. I, I hope, I really hope, if I can go on and progress all the time, maybe in the top 16 of the world. Top 16 of the world. Yeah. Martin Schiff, the head of the top 16, that is your big 20. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.